What is up, everybody? What is up, everybody? I don't know what I just said. It's your boy, <clears throat> Prince Truth here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another episode of WWE 2K20 Universe Mode. Now, I tried to do this earlier. Uh, King Kaiba was with me. Uh, King Kaiba might show up in, during the stream. I uh, tried to do it earlier. The game crashed, you know. Wonderful 2K20. The game crashed. Um... And <clears throat> I just like to, I'll do it later. And I was going to do it later uh, Sunday. It's technically Monday now, 1230 in the morning. Um, <clears throat> why? My throat's acting up. Um, but I had a bunch of stuff I had to do today that I was going to do after my stream. But now, I just decided to take care of all that, then I'll do my stream. Uh, King Kai was at work right now, so he's not going to be doing the stream, at least at, in the beginning. Um, I don't know if he's going to do it when he gets home or not. One second, guys. So I've been doing that recently. Got a cold. Gonna blow my nose. I don't think y'all want to hear that or see it. So I cover the camera. My ears feel like everything's caved in. My throat's been acting all funny. Yada 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 yada. But we're gonna go ahead and go through the matches and get started with the show. In our opening contest, we have Billy Kay and Peyton Royce. We have Otis and Tucker. Mickey James, Zelina Vega, and Maurice. If, oh, sorry, Malik Mickey James, Zelina Vega, and the Raw Women's Champion Maurice will be in a match for the Raw Women's Championship. Stephanie McMahon and Alexa Bliss for the SmackDown Women's Championship. Mojo Rawley versus the Intercontinental Champion himself. I don't know. The Fiend Bray Wyatt. We have Jed. Taking on the Lord of Darkness champion Finn Balor. Montez Ford and Angelo Dawkins of the Street Profits taking on Sheamus and Cesaro The Bar. The Rock and Curtis Axel. The Usos taking on the Raw Women's Champ. The Raw Tag Team Champions Prince Truth and Alex Strano. I should have waited a little bit more when I woke up. Just called Prince Truth and Alex Strano women. John Cena and the Universal Champion Spider Bat in the main event. I can't read you down there, Phoenix. If you want love, then you gotta come up here. Come on. Come on, if you wanna come up here. There you are. You wanna say hi to everybody? Say hi to everybody. Aww. Start pushing her head against mine. Why are you assaulting me with your tail? But welcome everybody to Super Showdown. We're coming at you live from Melbourne, Australia. Looks like I'm about to sneeze. What do you think, Phoenix? You going over there because I'm about to sneeze? You going to sit in King Kaiba's seat? In our opening contest from Australia themselves, Billy Kay and Peyton Royce go one-on-one. -on -one. I will be playing this match as Peyton Royce. Match starting off Peyton starting off strong. My two two forearms. 
My headset was really low. Nice suplex from Peyton Royce. Went for a kick to the spine. Billy K. Oh, nope. Shoulder tackle from Billy K. Billy K looking for a cover, looking to win, but Peyton Royce is able to kick out. Oof, dropping Billy K on her neck. Knee drove right into the chest. Drop kick right to the shoulder. Oh, went for an elbow drop, but Billy K able to get out of the way. Northern Light Suplex. My Andre takedown. Off the rope, shoulder tackle. Drop kick. Putting Roy's down. And Royce, suplex, and for a kick, oh knee, right to the spine, slamming the knee right into the ground, kick to the chest, spit leg, Clark. Color noble tie up and from separation. <laughs> Meteora from Peyton Royce, double axe handle. Spinning kick to the face, cover. Suplex. I'm gonna roll through. Hits another suplex. Rolling through again. Leg caught into a suplex. Landing kicks. Raining in some back elbows. Ooh, forearm to the face. Oh, gets up again. The clothesline from Billy Kay. He's caught. Billy K. Suit one. Oh, 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 wait a minute. Doesn't complete it as Payne Roy slides out. That kick to the chest again. Putting down Billy K. Looking for the cover. And Payne Roy takes the W. What are you doing, Phoenix? She's licking a part of her cat tree. Here is your winner, Peyton Royce. In our next contest, we have Otis and Tucker. I will be playing this match as Otis. And I need to uh, blow my uh, nose again.
<laughs> Coach Rebell and Otis slamming right into Tucker, dropping him. Knee lift towards the face. Otis has Tucker down. Splash from Otis. Looking for a kick. Follows Tucker to the outside. I don't think Tucker knows where Otis is. I don't even know if Tucker knows where he is. Coming here, right here in front of us. Attacking the knee. Head smashed right into the shoulder. Oof. It's Otis slamming right into Tucker. Slamming Tucker down. Tucker gets right back up. Otis thought about going for a punch. And... Nope. Transitions again. Splash. What a clothesline. I don't know what his signature move is. Oh, oh, I guess I figured it out. See, I th okay, I thought it was this, but I thought it was just like on already laying on the ground. Otis, the caterpillar. Otis slamming Tucker. Oh. I was kind of hoping heavy machinery was going to put aside their differences and get back together. But up next, the Raw Women's Championship will be on the line. We'll not be playing this match because the championship is on the line.
here's the Raw Women's Champion. And introducing the champion from Montreal, Quebec, Canada, the Raw Women's Champion, Maurice. You know, maybe this just made me think about Ms. and Mrs. When, uh, I don't know if you guys ever seen it, but there's a, there's an episode where Miz tries to pull a prank on Maurice's mom, Margie, and What he does is he takes, because they're traveling from Los Angeles to Hollywood, and they're in the tour bus. And they hide, and he hides the bus, and he plays a prank on her, and she is pissed. But before he did it, um, M M Maurice is like, like, he's like, it's just a little joke. And she's like, she's French-Canadian, she don't do jokes, and it, that was funny. It made me laugh. Rubber College for Bell match is underway. Maurice going to watch her opponents take each other out. Oof. Oof. I like when matches have different, um, like people that are from different, uh, nationalities are in the match. Like, Mickey James is American. Maurice is Canadian, French Canadian. And Zelina Vega is Puerto Rican. I love when matches have different, uh, races, um, heritages. I don't, I don't know. I don't know the proper term. But, you know, they're from different places. Kick to the spine. Face first into the turnbuckle. Swings the legs. Neck breaker. Back elbow. Snapping Zelina Vega back. Oh, jumped over Maurice and Maurice. Mickey James jumped over Maurice as Maurice was sliding into the ring. But Mar Maurice got out of the way of Zelina Vega hitting the Bulldog. Or hitting her face off the mat. That was quick and amazing performance. Oh, kick to the face from Zelina Vega. Stomping a mud hole into Mickey James. Jesus, the world. Smack on the wrist is Zelina. Maurice gets right back up quickly, but taken right back down by Zelina Vega. Zelina Vega gonna wrench. Nope, sweeping out the legs. Oh, ooh, the neck smacking off the back of the head. Mickey James out here pulling out the, all the art, artillery. Gonna leave the ladder out here. Maybe use it later. Face first. Oh, Mickey James looking for a DDT on the chair. Oh, Maurice not affected. Maurice said, eh, just another day in the office. Clothesline. Dangerously close to this ladder. Dangerously close to us, too. Luth says, press. Oof. I 
don't know what Zelina Vega's looking for here. DDT! I tried to end the match right after that, but... Oof! Zelina Vega going to the outside, looking for something. But Maurice ain't gonna let her find any object. Kick from Maurice to retain the women's championship. And Mickey James staying in it. For a drop kick. Mickey James. Mick kick. Mickey James is trying to become the champion. Lena Vega DDT Mickey James is gonna try to get a win off that is Lena gonna let it happen I thought Lena was like alright yeah sure that's fine Mickey James looking for the DDT but Lena Vega was able to get out and get away from that and not have to suffer those consequences kick to the spine Uh oh, Maurice. French kiss. And Maurice retains. I don't think Mickey James fully understands that, but she heard the bell. M Mickey James was still getting to her feet as that three count was happening. I think that was a really good match. There's like I think something's broken in my headset. I think I gotta get a new one. But up next, our SmackDown Women's Championship will be on the line. Stephanie McMahon, Alexa Bliss, one on one. Here we go. One fall. And he's for the SmackDown Women's Championship. SmackDown Women's Champion, Alex Bliss. Introducing the challenger from Greenwich, Connecticut, Stephanie McMahon. Introducing the champion from Columbus, Ohio, the SmackDown Women's Champion, Alexa Bliss.
Every cost for Bell matches underway. Alexa Bliss, Stephanie McMahon, one on one, goes around the back. Oh, oof. Alexa Bliss does not want to lose her championship here tonight, but just as bad as that, Stephanie McMahon wants to become champion here tonight. Oof. Elbow. Punch to the center of the back. Suplex. Has Alexa Bliss up and then right back down. One hell of a power bomb from Stephanie McMahon. Before, I don't know what the fuck just happened. Alexa Bliss pressing into the jaw. Before a punch, but. Steph McMahon said, yep, off the ropes. Doug Snyder, oh, gets a hold of Stephanie McMahon. Oof. Kick to the spine. Jawbreaker. Oof. Form to the spine. Kick right to the back of the knee. Oh, what a kick. Six, seven, On seven. Eight. Jawbreaker from Stephanie McMahon. That's trash. A half hour in. How many matches did we complete? We, we completed four matches. I mean, we had six to go. <laughs> The Intercontinental Championship is on the line up next as Mojo Raleigh takes on The Fiend, Bray, Wyatt. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. One fall. And is for the WWE Intercontinental Championship. Intercontinental Championship on the lineup next. But is he up for the challenge? This eerie, an eerie feeling comes through the building whenever the fiend comes into it. There's the Intercontinental Champion right there. Mojo, I'm, 
I'm kind of afraid for Mojo Rawley at the moment. Nobody can make a room more uncomfortable than The Fiend. The Fiend will hurt you and get pleasure out of it. There's Mojo. Oh, yeah. See, Mojo, Mojo got on the outside. He's like, screw this. I'm not sure what he's doing there. Okay. The Fiend, all excited, all kinds of happy. I just realized that the title's glitching through his jacket. Fans here in Melbourne. Bray's going to kill you. Introducing the challenger from Alexandria, Virginia, weighing in at 265 pounds. And introducing the champion, weighing in at 285 pounds, he is the Intercontinental Champion, The Fiend, Bray Wyatt. Fucking hair is so hard to keep straight back. Perfect cost for belt match underway. The fiend coming out of the gate strong, but Mojo had him sighted. I thought this was gonna be a one-sided match. I thought it was gonna be fully Bray Wyatt. I underestimated Mojo Raleigh. Goes around the back, picking him up, planting him down. Maybe Mojo's been watching some Bray Wyatt matches, trying to get prepared for this match. Wrenching on the fiend, but the fiend counters. The thing you don't want to do is let the fiend get the upper hand. You might not get it back. They spoke too soon. Mojo. I underestimated Mojo coming into this match. Cross body. Oof, oof. The feed went off the ropes. Up, down with a spine buster. Punch of the shoulder, looks like. Picks him up, dropping him down. Big boot to the midsection, punch of the face.
throwing him. Oof. Oof. Taking out the knee. The fiend rolls through. Oh, gets a hold of the wrist. Push, slamming the fiend down, picking him up. Taking him down again. Kick to the winter. Oh, sorry, went for a kick to the spine. The fiend gets right back up. Back elbows from Mojo Rawley. Mojo Rawley doing everything he can to stay into this match. Drops him down again. The fiend not even, not keeping up with Mojo Rawley. Mojo Rawley doing actually very impressive with this match. I didn't see Mojo Rawley doing this impressive. Gets a hold of Bray Wyatt again. Picks him up, looking for a suplex. Can he get it through? And he does. I don't know if the fiend can continue. And look at Mojo Rawley taking some time to glow. Oh, wait a second. Oh no, the fiend right behind him. Mojo, I don't think Mojo Rawley realizes what what just happened. Headbutt from the fiend. I think the fiend realized he was on the losing end of this match, so he had to like some of his abilities. Fiend, punch in the face. The fiend off the top rope. The Fiend looking to retain the Intercontinental Championship, but kicking out is Mojo Rawley. Not sure what Mojo Raleigh's thinking right now. But you don't want to take too much time in that area, the thinking area. I don't know what Mojo's doing, but I don't know why he ain't. Or is this some type of mind game of the fiend? Like some ability that he has. The fiend. Oh my god. Walking towards Mojo Raleigh. Mojo's bad predicament here. Sister Abigail. To Mojo Raleigh. To retain. Roy Wyatt is your victor here tonight. No. Stop it. That's not a Bray Wyatt. No. Stop. That's no. This is bullshit. I hope 2K gives these better these characters better personalities. That's no. A lot of things have happened in this game with the Fiend. That's not no. No, absolutely not. It's bullshit. Bullshit. Yeah, I thought it was five more matches, but I just wanted to make sure. But up next, the Lord of Darkness Championship is on the line as Jed takes on the Lord of Darkness Champion, Finn Balor. And while we wait on this match, I'm going to get me something else to drink. Well, I drink. I'm not like going to go get it. But. One fall. And is for the championship. It's for the championship. <laughs> mm. 
just hung out with Jed yesterday. Well, not yesterday, but Sunday. Technically, it's Monday morning, but. And there's Finn Balor. There's the Lord of Darkness champion. Is Jed ready for this? Is Jed going to be the Lord of Darkness champion? What the fuck? This fucking game, yo. Now they're standing there like they're a tag team. Okay. Looking up, oh, calling him a type Jed working on the arm of Valor, taking down Valor. Neck breaker. Belly to belly. Oof. Neck breaker. Oof. German suplex. Face first. Driving the feet right into the midsection. Ooh. Driving the knees right into the midsection. Suplex. Uh oh. Oof. Good puncture to 
freaking lung there. Sending Jed for a rod. This match is, I want to say this match has been even. It's been fairly even, but Finn Balor is starting to get at a good pace here. Because I said that Jed's going to get a upper hand. But because I said that, it ain't going to happen. Uh oh, Finn Balor over the top rope down, taking out Jed. Went for a kick to the face. Jed kick. Oh, form to the side of the head. And Jed just looking right at that little kid. Our free halfway through his count. These men need to think about getting back in the ring as Jed puts him into the ring. Finn off the top rope. Up goes Balor. <laughs> Two counts. Uh oh. Finn's in a bad predicament. Knee to the face. Why is Jed not looking to be win this match? I don't know what Jed's looking for here. Elbow drop. Figured Jed would try to end this match, but. Jed wants to hurt Balor. Splash, but Balor gets the knees up. Float over. DDT. Nineteen sixteen. Jed kicks out at two. Jed putting Balor down, locking up the arm now. Balor fighting out of it. Was that a 1916 or was the other thing a 1916? I don't know. And Finn Balor retains the Lord of Darkness Championship. I love that. It's irritating, but at the same time, I love it. He's still Finn Balor. You know, lost this match, he would no longer be Finn Balor. He'd just be Finn. <laughs> no, I didn't want to exit. Oh, I, I'm, I was about to start just the announcing of this match. But I will be playing this match as the Street Profits. As the Street Profits take on Sheamus and Cesaro. Match is underway. Montez Ford with the take out Sheamus. Ooh. Ooh. 
Ooh, nice knee right to the chest. Oh no, missed the stomp. Yeah, yeah. Use the right leg. You might you might actually hit the stomp. Ooh. Oh, cross body. Good for four. Ooh. Dropping him on his neck. Face first. Back elbow. Knee lift. Oof. <laughs> Sorry guys, Montez Ford laying him from strikes. DDT from Montez Ford. Uh oh, uh oh, whoopsie. Montez Ford up top. Went for a splash, but Sheamus rolls out of the way. Once that sport goes up, creating a little bit of separation. Wow, wicked strikes. Oof. Montez all over Sheamus. Montez Sport gets sent to end to the Street Profits corner. Now Angelo Dock is tagging himself in. Attacking the neck. Dawkins. Oh, Dawkins is countered. Oh, punch right to the face. Just a two count. Spine Buster from Dawkins. And Cesaro breaks it up. Dawkins quickly taking care of Cesaro. Dawkins, Do I, thought, I thought Sheamus had an upper hand over Dawkins for a second. Fist drops right to the face. Slam. Drop kick from Dawkins. Ooh. Dawkins is up top. Right over Cesaro down to the floor. Oh my. God, that can break a rib. That can break a rib quick. Seamus took him down. Dawkins again slamming right into the knees of Cesaro. Try to take out the legs with the double axe handle. Sheamus was able to get out of the way. 
punch to the face dropping Seamus. Stun Buster. All right, Cesar, you're really, you're really trying to irritate me. No, I don't want to. No, no, shit. It's, this is what I was trying to do. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Tagging out. Referee better stay out of the way. I don't. What the fuck? What type of fuck? This game is pissing me off. Is it March yet? I'm ready for 2K22. Like, why the hell was I targeted to Dawkins? An elbow drop, but Seamus moved out of the way. Leg drop. Kick to the midsection. DDT from Ford. Splash from Ford, but Seamus gets the knees up again. Just bro kick. Montez Ford able to easily kick out. And Cesaro, first time legal in this match. Monkey flip. Elbow drop from Ford. Really using them elbows to his advantage here. DDT Up top is Ford Splash Connects it into the cover <sighs> What a close line from Dawkins Up oh, over the top rope down to the floor. Tagging out, and here comes Dawkins. Overhand, top to the shit to the back. The punch didn't even knock him down. Spine buster from Dawkins. No, god fucking damn it, stay out of the fucking way, and that won't happen.
You move when I'm coming towards you. You don't just stand there and take it. And what type of fucking logic is that? I didn't even want to be up on the fucking top, bro. That shit, that shit's fucking irritating. Like this. You guys gonna do something? Or are you just gonna make me stand here? Like, this fucking game, I swear to everything totally. Elbow. Elbow again. DD, sorry, from Bulldog. Nice body slam. Oof. Yo, I am having fun with this match overall, but it's still kind of bullshit. Punch of the face. And the Street Profits come out victorious. Now I need another drink after all that bullshit. I was gonna r do the rest of my stream without my mic on. I, I forgot. I hit exit again. Yeah, ugh, three more matches. I will be playing this match. But this is the last match that I'm playing of the night. The Rock takes on Curtis Axel. Playing this match as The Rock. Ducks under the clothesline. Hits a clothesline of his own. Has a sleeper applied. Sweeping out the leg. Rock rolls through. Bulldog. Rock steps up the back of the neck. Picks him up quickly. Samoan drop. Elbow. Right to the top of the head. That was one hell of a stomp. Nice clothesline from the rock. Clothesline. Twisting out the leg. Bouncing off the top rope. Up oh, goes around to the back for him. Oof. 
Going for a leg drop. Oof, attacking the jaw. Spine buster from the rock. Back elbow. Up. Ooh, Tom and drop. Nope, goes around to the back. Spine buster for the rock again. All oh, rock. Either lost his footing, knee buckled, or he's getting tired. Oh, well, I think we're going to see the most electrifying move in sports entertainment. The Rock. The people's elbow. The Rock thinks this match should be over. Oof. Close line in the L. Out of Curtis Axel, but Curtis Axel hit the close line that time. Curtis Axel gonna get his hits in. Oof. Float over DDT. Buster Three and a half stars. Up next, you have Prince Truth and Alex Strano of EXP, the Raw Tag Team Champions, taking on the Usos, who they've beaten twice. I just want to put that out there. <clears throat> who I just want to put that out there. The Usos lost to them twice and are still getting a raw tag team championship shot and that wasn't my choice like I don't want me to be like well you could have put anyone you wanted in the match I could have yes however the person running raw said that the Usos need a championship shot and I was like what the fuck are you talking about that's fine we'll beat them again and we'll sweep the raw tag division as well And there they are.
Man, it hit me so hard. The universe, WWE universe, get behind the Usos. It's fine, we don't like them anyway. The championships on the line. And Jimmy coming out strong, but Prince Drew sidestepped him. And looking for an early cover way on, way early in this match. But Prince Drew goes up. And he gets hit with a Sit out, body slam. Prince Truth up, electric chair drop. Whoop, knee right to the face. Jimmy right into the corner, tagging out to Jay. Up, smoke and drop. Looking for an early cover again. Well, I shouldn't say it again because it wasn't Jay last time they did it. It was Prince Truth. But, nonetheless. And now Jay tagging out. Jimmy coming back in. So let me Alex Strano down. Kick to the spine. And stomp to the spine. My God. Oh, kick to the midsection. Forearm. Tagging out. Here comes Jim. Uh, Jay. <laughs> For a chop. Prince Truth. Uh, oh, up and around. DDT. Just a one count. Oh, kick. Playing some super kicks. Uh oh. For truth, knee right to the face. And for a kick, Jimmy says no. Or maybe that's Jay. Yeah, Jay. Jay said no. Kick the midsection. DDT. Kick out from Prince Truth. Quick. Oh, nope. Go for a super kick. Prince Truth. Oh, that's an inside it. Prince, Prince Truth biting. Jay slamming. And biting again. Butt in the ear. Wheelbarrow. Neck breaker. 
coming in. Went for they went for a super. They both went for kicks of their own, but neither man was able to actually connect it. Prince Truth tagging out. Why the fuck is he tagging out? He has a finisher. Okay. Forearm. Alex Strato coming in. Elbow drop. I was gonna say, okay, not my match. But it really fucking is. <laughs> Elbows to the shoulder. Went for a kick, but Jay was able to evade it. Nice counter from Alex Drano. Chop to the chest. Jimmy wants in. Jimmy needs to be in there too. However, Prince Turner ain't gonna let that happen. Because E X P we're top. Ooh, driving. Alex Strano down. Sorry. Oh. Oh my gosh. If Jimmy wants to smoke, like, he can get it. Like, <laughs> nice take down. Oh. Went for a super kick. Electrono evades disaster. Hey, bro. 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 Is that supposed to be. Is that autocorrected or is that supposed to say something else? Knee right into the face of Electrono. Welcome to the round table. Uh oh. Alex Rano in a bad predicament. Prince Truth, get in there. It's bro, not bro. Okay. Hey, bro. Um, now you're tuning in late. Your match uh, happened a little bit ago. Jed faced uh, Finn Balor for the Lord of Darkness Championship earlier on tonight. Well, not early, earlier tonight. Did I win? Do you want me to tell you? Are you sure you want me to tell you? Or do you want me or do you want to wait to see it for yourself? It was a really good match. Oh Schoolboy. Tell, yeah, tell. Um, okay. Finn Balor won the match, retained the Lord of Darkness championship. Oof. First of all, almost all black people must die. I really hate them. Oh well, that's that's good. That's good to know. Um, you are no longer allowed in my chat. I don't put up with that shit. Don't come in my chat saying anything like black people must die or anything homophobic or racist, homophobic. Out of here. Fuck that guy. Yeah, exactly. I'm coming to my stream with that bullshit. It's on seven. It's on eight. Take the count on win. Get in the ring. Ten. E X P. Get that shit. Also, miss you, bro. It was a good hanging out with you. It was. I enjoyed it a lot. Take it. We we own the fucking titles. Get the fuck out of here. We we run this shit.
<laughs> we run this shit. E. X. P. Beat everybody. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. And is for the WWE Universal Championship. run this shit. So, to the rest of the Raw tag team division. Next, please. The hell? Hype. A damn right hype. Fucking excited. Fucking ecstatic. We run this shit. You know... Spider-Man's been holding on to that championship for a long time. It's Miles Morales. Send me an emoji of Miles Morales. This is Peter Wayne. Or Bruce Parker. Both those work. It says bruh, doesn't it? Oh, it does say bruh. I didn't see that. All I saw was Miles Morales. Where it says... Where it says bra, it looked like his shoulders from my view. Let's go Cena, Cena sucks. Let's go Cena, Cena sucks. Always a split. From West Newberry, Massachusetts, weighing in at 251 pounds, John Cena! And introducing the champion from Harlem, New York, weighing in at 200 pounds. He is the WWE Universal Champion, the Spider Man. He has been Universal Champion for a while. Um, raid all my emotes. <laughs> I don't understand the third one. It's just like a picture of a person. I don't even know who that is. Should I know who that is? Wait, hold on. They look familiar. No, wait. Oh, wait. I think I know. Is that from Star Wars? That'd be why I don't understand it. Collar number type. John Cena. Back and sputter bat up. Referee creating some separation between the two. Kick to the spine, but Cena right back up. Right over the top rope, down goes Cena. I'm one with the hood. I The one with the hood is me as the Jedi. The raid emote is me as a Super Saiyan. Okay, okay. I can kind of see it. <laughs> That's why it looks familiar. Because it's you. <laughs> All these emotes pertain to stuff in my streams. Right, right. See, but I'm not. See, I've never been much of a Star Wars fan. So. Like, I've watched your Star Wars streams. It's a little different. I can, like, watch. I can watch and I can somewhat play Star Wars games, but I, I don't like the. Is she gonna take a count out too? And also losing the game. Fuck you. <laughs> you made me lose it like 158 times yesterday. See, I would have liked that match to have an actual winner, but it is what it is. Overall, I think Super Showdown was really good. Was a really good show.
What's our next pay-per-view? Oh, yeah, it's NXT-based. What is it? Oh, yeah. No, it's not to NXT-based. It's not NXT-based. It's uh, the Halloween Night of Fright, which is uh, next Sunday. And uh, I can actually go through some of the matches. I need to get... I think I need to add some people to the card. Um, some last-minute changes that need to happen for Sunday. Um, I can tell you guys... And along with their uh, uh, co Halloween costumes. You see, but at least you didn't get chased by the demon girl. That was so funny. We, me and uh, Jen went to a haunted house last night. I don't know if I already told you guys of that. And somebody went into the... Uh... So what happened was we, all, we went through and he had to go into a casket that you basically can walk through a hallway afterwards. And she shut him in there by himself. And he, and he was gone. And then we got duped and the actor told us that we have to go through this way. And they got us. And we had to go back through. And I, when he went right back through. He. Yeah not not Jed. Uh, some guy named Elijah. I think you spelled that wrong. That says Elisha. But Elijah. He, that was his name. He went through again. And I, when he went through the first time. The second time. He looks back at her. He's like you coming. And she chased him in there. He fucking, he was gone. But I'm going to go ahead and go to through the matches for uh, next Sunday. We have Prince Truth as the Death Slinger from uh, Dead by Daylight. I did my best. Don't judge me when you do see it. Taking on Swiggy. Javier will be Javier because, you know, he's fucking Chupacabra anyway. He'll be taking on Cody Brooks, who's going to be dressing as a clown. The Wall, dressing as Jigsaw, will be facing Papa Bear as Papa Bear because, I mean, Papa Bear. For the NXT Championship... Miss Sigma will be dressing as a bunny as she takes on Fireball who will be dressing as a snake. Hannah Jane will be dressing as Jason when she faces Wendy Lou who will be Dark Wendy. Adam 12 will be dressing as a skeleton as he takes on T-Dog who will be the Hulk. Nightwolf will be dressing as a werewolf as he faces the gorilla Ozamas. Rosie Shyball will be facing, I don't, we don't know yet, as a nurse. And Jed will be there. Dressing, he will be dressing as a doctor of Thugonomics himself. Taking on Just Seth, who is a creature that he came up with. Elizabeth Bennett will be there, but we don't, she doesn't know what her costume is going to be yet. She takes on Selena Strait, who will be a witch. Millennial Shaggy will be dressing as Michael Myers. Taking on, we don't know yet. Wait a second. I was about to put him up against Rosie Scheibel, but you can't do intergender matches. But that is going to do it for this episode, guys. I do thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys ever miss anything and want to catch up on everything, head over to my YouTube channel at Prince Truth. If you're not there already, and if you haven't done already, hit that subscribe button, turn on press notifications so you never miss an episode. Hit that follow button to become a knight today, and I'll see you guys in the next one. But until then, guys, hold on. Get an Ultra Instinct shaddy, Shaggy. I don't know what that is. You might have to message me on Snapchat what that is since we're friends on Snapchat. But until next time, guys, I am out.